Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn the concept of function of a function. We will also see how to find out differentiation of function of a function. So let us first understand what is called as function of a function. If z is a function of u, where u is function of two variables, say x and y, then we say that z is a function of a function. Let me explain you this with the help of a tree diagram. Look at here. Here z is denoted as function of u and u is function of x and y. So we say z is a function of function u. Now let us discuss differentiation of function of a function. Here z can be seen as function of x and y. Derivative of z with respect to x will be partial. Similarly, derivative of z with respect to y will also be partial. If we try to differentiate z with respect to u, z can be seen as function of only one variable u. So derivative of z with respect to u will be ordinary. So we say derivative of z with respect to x that is daba z by daba x is dz by du into daba u by daba x. Similarly, daba z by daba y will be dz by du into daba u by daba y. Now let us see examples on this. Here we are given u is equal to r cube and r square is equal to x square plus y square. Then we are asked to find daba u by daba x and daba u by daba y. Let us first draw tree diagram for this set of functions. Here u is a function of r and r is a function of x and y. So u becomes function of a function. So derivative of u with respect to x that is daba u by daba x is given by du by dr into daba r by daba x. Now let us discuss values of each of these derivatives. Since u is defined as r cube, du by dr is 3r square. And since r square is x square plus y square, daba r by daba x can be calculated as follows. r square is x square plus y square, so r is root of x square plus y square. Then let's differentiate this r partially with respect to x, keeping y constant. We get daba r by daba x is 1 upon 2 root of x square plus y square into, by chain rule, derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x, keeping y constant we get 2x. This 2 2 gets cancelled. Daba r by daba x becomes x upon root of x square plus y square. But root of x square plus y square is r. So we get daba r by daba x is equal to x by r. Now we substitute values of du by dr and daba r by daba x over here to get value of daba u by daba x. So finally we say daba u by daba x is 3r square into x by r. This square and r will get cancelled. We get daba u by daba x is equal to 3xr. Similarly, one can find out what is daba u by daba y. Here, we can say that daba u by daba y is equal to 3yr. Moving on to next example. Here, u is defined as 1 by r. r square is x square plus y square plus z square. Then we have to prove that x into ux plus y into ui plus z into uz plus u is equal to 0. Here ux denotes partial derivative of u with respect to x. ui denotes partial derivative of u with respect to y. Similarly uz denotes partial derivative of u with respect to z. So let us first draw tree diagram for this set of functions. Given that u is a function of r and r is a function of x, y and z. So derivative of u with respect to x can be given by du by dr into daba r by daba x. Now let's calculate values of each of these derivatives. du by dr can be obtained from the this definition of u. Since u is 1 by r, du by dr is minus 1 by r square. Now let's calculate what is daba r by daba x. Since r square is x square plus y square plus z square, r is root of x square plus y square plus z square. 
So partial derivative of r with respect to x will be 1 upon 2 root of x square plus y square plus z square into 2x. You can refer the previous example for this calculation. Now this 2 2 gets cancelled. We get double r by double x is x upon root of x square plus y square plus z square. But this denom denominator term is nothing but r. So double r by double x becomes x by r. Substituting values of du by dr and double r by double x in this RHS part, we get double u by double x is equal to minus 1 by r square into x by r. Simplifying this, we get double u by double x is equal to minus x by r cube. On similar lines, we can say that ui is equal to minus y by r cube. ui means double u by double y. Similarly, double u by double z is minus z by r cube. Let us carry forward these values of derivatives on my next slide. Now we multiply ux with x, ui with y and uz with z and we will add u in it. So x ux plus y ui plus z uz plus u will be minus x square by r cube minus y square by r cube minus z square by r cube plus u. Adding these first three terms, I see minus 1 by r cube is a common term. So we have minus 1 by r cube x square plus y square plus z square in the numerator plus u. But x square plus y square plus z square is r square. So we replace it by r square, we get minus r square upon r cube plus u. This r square and cube will get cancelled, we'll have minus 1 by r plus u. But 1 by r is u. So replacing this 1 by r by u, we get minus u plus u, which is equal to 0. This is the required RHS. Hence, we say that this equation is now proved. Let us go ahead for next example. In this example, once again, u is defined as 1 by r. r square is x square plus y square plus z square. And we are asked to prove that double order derivative of u with respect to x plus uyy plus uzz is equal to 0. Let us first look at the diagram of this set of functions. u is a function of r, r is a function of x, y and z. So derivative of u with respect to x that is daba u by daba x is du by dr into daba r by daba x. This is the same scenario that we have seen in our last example. Over there we calculated that daba u by daba x is minus x by r cube daba u by daba y is minus y by r cube and daba u by daba z is equal to minus z by r cube. You can go back and cross check these calculations. Now let us differentiate daba u by daba x with respect to x again. So to do so, we have to apply u by v rule of derivative. So u is x, v is r cube. So derivative of x by r cube is derivative of x is 1 r cube as it is minus now x as it is derivative of r cube is 3 r square into daba r by daba x whole divided by v square that is r cube square that is r raised to 6. Let's simplify this daba r by daba x we know that x by r you can go back and check the calculation from previous example this square and r will get cancelled x into x is x square so we have r cube minus 3x square r in the numerator from the numerator i see this r can be taken as a common term so that r when taken out will get cancelled with this r raised to 6 and in the denominator will be left with r raised to 5 so uxx is minus of r square minus 3x square upon r raised to 5 similarly we can say that uyy is minus of r square minus 3y square upon r raised to 5 and uzz is equal to minus of r square minus 3z square upon r raised to 5. Carry forwarding these values of uxx, uyy and uzz, 
Now let's add these three values to get uxx plus uyy plus uzz. We see that this minus 1 by r raised to 5 is a common term, you can take it out. So adding the rest of the numerator term, we have 3 times r square minus 3 times x square plus y square plus z square. But x square plus y square plus z square is r square that is given in the question. So we have in the numerator minus of 3r square minus 3r square upon r raised to 5. So in the numerator we get 0. So 0 upon anything is 0. We get uxx plus uyy plus uzz is equal to 0. Hence proof. I hope you understood what is a function of a function and how to differentiate it. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.